on the descent. It's Jumbo Visma's Fem Van Empel on that Cervelo bike, all decked out in rainbow stripes. Back to Anna Marie Verst of the Cyclocross Reds, as they're now known. And a big signing for them in the elite men's race. We'll uh, bring you up to speed with that when we get into that one. Inga van der Heide is still sitting in third spot. And she has got some company right behind her. The focus, the concentration, though, at the head of the race by the world champion. It has been yet another phenomenal performance today. When we, we're getting a lot of slow moves, we're getting a lot of looks, it's the, it's the work that you can see that riders like Fem are doing in the week on those cyclocross sessions that take place around the Netherlands and, uh, and around Belgium that, have, that has developed and continues to develop this sort of skill set. Exactly, the, the classic Wednesday afternoon World Championships that take place uh, across various locations in Belgium and uh, the Netherlands midweek where these riders hone their skills from a very young age. We see how Fem van Empel has come through with those skills, that skill set which yeah, sets her apart from, from a lot of other riders within the field. So it shows how important and highlighted on a course like the Overizer course here today. Is it is it invitation only? Is it there's is it a little bit a little bit stealthy? Is it a little bit, if your name's not down, you're not coming in? Is it that kind of thing? It depends on the session. Uh, the one in Holland is very much run by uh, the Federation. And I think more or less anyone can go along to that one. But then uh, in Belgium, it's very much more training within a team scenario. Uh, you do get the, the odd invite from uh, outside the team to go along. I trained with the Pal Salzen team a few times when I lived in Belgium, so you, you can get your foot in the door and pit yourselves against these riders in a midweek uh, training session. But yeah, it's it's just that team situation fighting against each other in training that brings each other on to such a high level. Great crowd as always here in Overijssel, so part of the Telenet Super Prestige Series this year, rather than the World Cup. And the organisers saying it's uh, for them, it's uh, it, they're they're fine with that. It might dip in and out of the World Cup, but it doesn't really. They've said make a huge amount of difference to them whether they're part of the uh, the Telenet Super Prestige Series or or the World Cup, and that shows, um, to excuse the pun, the prestige of this series. Well, the Super Prestige is. Yeah, <laughs> the second biggest series in the sport, but it has a lot of history behind it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's taken very seriously by all the riders. Just taking this descent, Fem Van Empel is going to go three from three and make it 21 career victories uh, with this ride today the dominance of uh, this rider, the world champion, the world uh, number one. 16 victories from 24 race starts uh, last year. It's already a frightening prospect looking at this. Could you better Matthew Vanderpool's sort of season a few years ago when we, uh, was it a 93% success rate? I think Matthew had that season. It's, it's going to be tight. Um, I wouldn't bet against her right now because she looks head and shoulders above the rest right now. Yeah, she didn't finish off the podium in any way she finished last year. <laughs> Absolutely mad <laughs> when you take into account the conditions, the different courses, everything that is thrown at a cyclocross rider within the months of the season, not to have not to have a problem in one that forces you off the podium is just it's just bonkers. And you can hear it the uh, the announcer just uh, letting everyone know that she's uh, coming into the start finish straight. Just straightens the shorts, makes sure the rainbow bands are uh, looking as they should. What a rider. What can you say? Fem Van Empel of Jumbo Visma, 21 pro victories with that ride. Three from three this season and uh, has been, as Ian Field said, unbeaten so far since uh, we go all the way back to uh, the national championships in January, the last time uh, she was beaten and she finished third in that one. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant ride from uh, Alvarado in the end. She came through and yeah, certainly opened up that gap on the riders behind 
a comfortable second position but a rider of her stature she'll be looking to try and close that gap over the coming weeks just stretches out the back over eyes are one of those courses very tough on the lower back as you have to stay seated for a lot of the climbing to keep grip through that rear tire still wave happy enough so her second second spot of the year she hasn't been off the podium yet two seconds and a third for sailing alvarado and a big pat there to uh, Fem van Empel. The form is there for Salen Alvarado. Inga van der Heiden comes in for third spot, just ahead of Anna Reversed. So the Creel and Coronda rider ahead of the Cyclocross Reds with uh, Anna Marie. So another, another really solid performance today from Inga van der Heiden with another podium. Here's Annick van Alphen. Coming in for fifth spot, teammate of Anna Marie Burst. So fourth and fifth for the Reds. And behind them, it's Denise Betsema, sixth, coming back from injury, first race of the season. I think Betsema's going to be satisfied with that. Yeah, she is. Um, not perhaps a course that particularly suits to see a sprint finish right now. Clozell and Bentfeld, Leone Bentfeld takes that. Happy there with that performance. Points mean prizes, as they say. Ninth place for Anna Kay. So Great Britain's Anna Kay comes home in uh, ninth spot, just over two minutes down for Anna Kay. High fives, uh, a happy crowd along the side. So uh, a good top 10 for Anna Kay. Yeah, good ride from Anna today. Top 10 on that course. Probably a course that does suit her. Technical rider, lots of climbing. Lara Vidonj got. Tenth for her, just uh, with Sana Kant right behind. And Sana, different objectives this season. Um, Sana Kant, then we've got Marion Norbert Rieberall behind her, a 12th place. A little shake of the head from Marion today. So it's 10th, 11th, and 12th for Belgium. So. So round one of the Telenet Super Prestige Series here in Overijsa. And what can you say about this rider here? The world champion, the world number one. She can do absolutely no wrong at the moment. That was an absolutely um, almost faultless ride, you would say today. One small slip on the <laughs> pavé, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> but unbelievable performance from Fem van Empel today. Salen Alvarado is in great form this season. And Enga van der Heide takes your podium in third spot. <laughs> 